How's it going? David Cramble here with another FL Studio tutorial. Alright. The reason I was showing you that song is to kind of introduce something that I wanted to talk about. And that is mixer presets. Mixer presets are really, really useful when you have a certain sound that you want to continue to use. Um, for instance, let's say... I have this acoustic guitar track here. I'm going to go ahead and solo it. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and play the uh, song. Here, turn it on. Okay, so this is my acoustic guitar track that I'm using. And you can see it has a compressor, it has a parametric EQ, and it has a stereo enhancer. I use these things because I really like, one, I like to use compression for different things to kind of equalize the sound so that things that are quiet will be a little bit louder and things that are too loud can kind of be a little quieter. I like to even things out. Parametric EQ because I got the guitar to sound how I wanted it. And then stereo enhancer is to kind of make the guitar doubled in a way to where it sounds like there's guitar on the left side and the right side. Um, and I really like that type of sound. So let's say I want to use this sound for multiple songs. I'm going to use the same guitar and everything. And I want to use this set of effects as they are. EQ, all these effects, everything about this channel, I want to use it again in the future. Um, simple, really, really simple to do. All you need to do is right click the insert, say file and then click save mixer track state as give it a name I'm gonna say stereo acoustic guitar and then I'll click save now if I were to get rid of these effects so I will let's just uh, replace this with none replace this with none and replace this with none Go ahead and even out the EQ here. Now we'll go ahead and give it a listen. So you can hear it's kind of a mono track again, exactly how it was raw. But now, if I want to add the presets that I created, all I got to do is right click, file, open mixer track state, select the preset that I just saved, stereo acoustic guitar, click open, and there it is. And it may sound a little tinny and everything, but it kind of works with the mix. I'll kind of play the song all together for you. So you, you see, it, it doesn't really need to be too bassy. Um, this, is a, this is a really cool tool so that, again, if you have a sound that you like and you want to reuse it in the future, easy way to do it. Um, so yeah, that's how you create and use mixer presets. Um, my name is David Crandall. This is another one of my FL Studio tutorials. And just so you know, the song that you were listening to for this tutorial was a song that I wrote and recorded called Yesterday. It is from my latest album, self-titled album you can get the album on amazon excuse me you can get it on amazon itunes um napster e-music you can listen to it for free on spotify um it's pretty much everywhere i'll leave a couple of links down in the description if you want to go ahead and buy the song or buy the album great um but i'll leave the links for you anyway until next time this is another fl studio tutorial Please subscribe to my channel so you can continue to get um, new tutorials, I guess, from me. And um, also feel free to leave comments and, and send me messages letting me know what you would like to learn about FL Studio. Um, I, I really want to continue to make content for you so that you can use this channel as a reference or learn new things, and I want to be able to give that to you. Uh, so send your ideas. Um, if you know how to do something and you'd like me to make a video about it, send me your written tutorial and I'll go ahead and do it.
you know, I'll put it up here for everybody to see, and I'll be sure to give you credit. Um, anyway, until next time, my name is David Crandall. This is the FL Studio School Channel, and until next time, have fun making music.